All righty then. Well, speaking of hey, going home, I don't know if you missed it. Did you see the promo on Dynamite with the Young Bucks and Cole and Fish? Uh, no, I skipped over that completely. It appeared like they, I saw their faces. <laughs> well, they were teasing some sort of dissension. I think they were between Fish and the Bucks, even though he's Cole's friend and he's aligned with them. So the idea that O'Reilly's coming in, we think. Even if Roddy's not, and you get those three together, Red Dragon and Adam Cole, and you have the Bucks and whoever, Omega, Page, whoever, that may be where they're going. And whether you like the Bucks or not, in terms of Vince McMahon and WWE just handing over something that should work, while the Undisputed Era would never get used appropriately on the main roster there, handing the Undisputed Era over to feud with, you know, eventually they could, with the Elite or something... Jesus Christ, I mean, they just handed him the top stars yeah. of NXT. And see, I'll watch that because I'm right now, I'm skipping whatever Adam Cole does because I have liked his work and him as a person so much in the past. If I regularly see him having these garbage matches with the Cucamonga kids and doing all the foolishness and bullshit, by the time they break him loose and they do reestablish the Undisputed Era, he'll be ruined for me. So I am pretty much not watching Adam Cole if he's associating on screen with the Hardly Boys for future generations' sake. I would like to like him in the future. All right. But in this case, on this particular Friday night program, there's Adam Cole and the Hardly Boys starting to do a promo, and I start to fast forward, but Page walks in. Adam Page, that is. I know we got a lot of pages, a lot of cages, gauges, etc. Cole walks out and Adam Page apologizes to the Hardly Boys for being an ass and cost them their title shot and blah, blah, blah. But then he says, but they're even because they did it to him too, so don't touch me on Saturday or elsewise we'll have problems. So now the baby faces is apologizing to the, apologizing, apologizing to the heels. And actually, when you see the pay-per-view, it turns out all the heels ever needed was an apology. That's all they were waiting for was an apology from the Are you kidding? Friend. Oh, pl- don't don't spoil anything, but they just they just wanted an apology from their friend, even though they're heels and he's a baby face. They that's all they needed. Sometimes that's an cool. apology will do, apparently. Yeah, well, I wish that the fucking Hardly Boys parents would apologize for meeting each other so we wouldn't have to go through all this. The last stampede would have been great if the week before you just said, Bill, I'm sorry. What am I doing? <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said those things about Joel. Shouldn't have said I'd have him swabbing out toilets and selling Midnight Express bumper stickers. I apologize. 